Hey Sagittarius, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon. I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Sunday, February 14th. Let's see what's going on with Sagittarius. The heart of your reading, we have the Four of Cups and the Devil in Reverse. Not this time, Devil. Someone's going to present an opportunity for you, and you're going to see it like, uh, that's not it for me. For sure, it's a no. And you'll be making the smart decision. It's, I think, it feels like, um, something that might have been tempting to you in the, in the past. So it's like, a big pat on the back for like, no, that doesn't do it for me anymore. I, I know where this ends up. On a small scale, it's like, um, if you love going out drinking with friends, but every time like it, it goes too far and you end up with a hangover and it, it messes up your work schedule for the next day and there are consequences and um, it, it could be, you know, as trite or, uh, cliche as saying, um, uh, no, guys, I'm not going to go out drinking with you tonight. It always ends badly for me. So extrapolate from that example for your situation. I see you resisting something that used to be a temptation, but it's not even tempting this time. The energy of your challenge. We have the Eight of Pentacles reversed and the Magician. Um, trying to... Mm, ah, feeling like you have to do something about it versus an energetic shift. Okay, how to describe this? The Eight of Pentacles energy is like uh, grit and hard work will get it done. Lots and lots and lots of hard work and effort is the only way to get it done. That energy is in the reverse. And the Magician is like, uh, in comparison to that energy, is... I know that all things are possible in the realm of the potential, and all it takes is for me to align my energy with what's what the potential is, and then I can affect the outcome that I want through applying my skills. So it's like the Eight of Pentacles is missing that that aspect of it. It's like, well, it doesn't matter what direction I work in, effort will get me where I want to go. And I feel like the challenge is that you have the mindset of hard work is the only way to get ahead. If I'm falling behind, I just need to work harder. I need to work more. I need to work longer. But what the cards are saying is the, that's not the way forward. The way forward is actually um, connecting with the realm of the potential. I know it's, um, it's kind of a nebulous concept. Um, there's a decision that you need to make and you're working on making it. Right now you're not sure what to do. What's the energy of the recent past? Eight of Cups. Walking away with the intention of coming back. Or leaving the door open to returning, the possibility of returning. So we might be talking about a relationship here.
there's been a recent separation. One of you walked away, but there's like an open door policy, like uh, maybe that person comes and goes out of your life or you might be the person coming and going out of their life. If that's the case, then I see this as the person coming back around again and the, the person on the receiving end of that energy is like, not this time. I'm not tempted by that. I'm not interested in that. That doesn't uh, excite me because I recognize that it's actually holding me back and it's not good for me. then this would be um, no amount of just plotting forward through this relationship is going to align it with um, my highest potential. What I'm trying to mold this relationship in, no matter how much effort I put into it, it isn't turning into what I'm trying to make it into. You're being faced with a decision, but I think you're you're not uh, not wanting to make it. Show me the energy of the environment. Hanged man in reverse, getting unstuck. Yeah. Spirit is is nudging you. I feel like shoving you a bit. Um, more than a nudge in this instance. Um, in order to get unstuck from this uh, situation that is... Uh, something is, is there and then it's not. Something's there and then it's not. And you're trying to effort it into, mold it into, through hard work and effort, I can change this. Um, that's a losing game, it looks like. That this, the effort that you're putting into this is actually holding you back from pouring that energy and effort towards something that is aligned with your higher good. It, it's like you're wasting your potential on this situation. Show me the near future for Sagittarius. Queen of Wands, there's that temptation. Oof, yeah, okay. Uh, I think whomever it is that's a tempting influence on you is going to dial it up a few notches and you're going to give in to temptation, I think. Tower peeking up, peeking out at us from the bottom of the deck, you're like, The tower might come crumbling down around me, but uh, I'm going to go up in flames having fun with my temptation. Show me... The flames are a metaphor. Don't worry. Your surprise energy is the king of pentacles. If you remain open to it and you don't uh, saturate your attention with this temptation, I feel like someone else is going to come in. Someone grounded and responsible and uh, well off. Who's not in again, out again. They're very um, uh, consistent. A very consistent person. But I feel like that person um, yeah, if, if you if you devote 
100% of your attention toward this person who's tempting, who's in and out again, you won't have the... Uh, either this person won't even cross your path, like you, you'll be busy with your tempt tempting person, so you wouldn't have gone to get coffee that day that you would have met them sort of thing. Or you will meet them and you just, you'll be consumed with desire for your, your tempting person. So you won't even kind of register this new person as, a, as an option. Your hopes and fears, we have the Two of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you, you do, okay, you are holding out hope that this person will be uh, in a committed love relationship with you. I feel like you're hoping against hope because even uh, it's showing up more as a fear that, that, that it won't happen. And if I'm reading this correctly, then it, that fear is well founded. I don't I don't see that this is a um, that this is like a long term healthy relationship. which is what the Two of Cups stands for in the upright. Uh, commitment, a healthy relationship. Show me the end result for Sagittarius. The moon in reverse. Unknowns will become known. If you feel like you're in limbo now, that will, that will resolve. If it's like, Will you come back? Will we end up together? Let's wait and see. You will see. Your advice. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Align yourself with the, the energy of someone stable, whether or not they present to you in, in, in the short term. Your advice is, um, align yourself with that energy. Uh, recognize that you deserve something stable and reliable. Um, shift the, the energy that you are pulling in. Like, what is your focus? What is your priority? Are you hungry for intrigue? Do you, do you desire, um, like, is it exciting for you to, to the, the, like the thrill of the chase, the wondering like, oh, do I have them? Do I not have them? I have to go after them. I have to think about it. It's, it's exciting if they're like always out of reach or are you focusing on, um, like, I would like a stable life. I would like someone who, when they say they're going to call, they do. And someone, if they say, if they say, I want to be in your life, then they are. It's like uh, someone who backs up what they say. They're reliable. They're dependable. Not in a boring way, just in a consistent way. Which, I mean, in contrast, I'm seeing through your eyes might might seem boring. Um, well, I can't deny that the, the advice here is align yourself with that energy, the yin and yang. Receive, be, be receptive to this energy. It's like, if you think about the, the yin yang symbol, that's exactly what I'm seeing here. The, the two pentacles, working in tandem with one another. It could be a really good fit for you. So, Sagittarius, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you back tomorrow. Bye.